Hi everyone, I'm giving people a chance to come in if you're watching this in the playback at all. That's kind of why I don't, I didn't talk at the beginning of my last one either. We'll see what the turnout is for today because it's a little bit more of a random time than last time, which was in the evening. If you are here, I see that there are 11 people here. Say hi. Hello. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Beth. Hi, Anne. Hi, Victoria and Sarah. Hi, Happy Natural. Hey, Jen. Do you guys get a chance to watch my CVS video? Because I just uploaded it like 30 minutes ago. Hi, Isabel. Hi, from Vegas, from Denise. Hi, Julie and Alma. Hi, Chivas. Okay, yes, you did, Jessica. Not yet, not yet. Didn't watch yet. Okay, yeah, I just uploaded it, so that's why the title of this is Let's Chat About CRTs, about what happened today, so I can fill you guys in since you didn't really get to watch that yet. Okay, um, Massachusetts, Baltimore, hi from Florida. Same, no video. Yeah, I just uploaded it. So, hi, TN Couponer. Um, I see you comment on my stuff all the time. Okay, right, what happened? So, I, you guys have been around for a long time. I used to have a CVS that I called, like, Nazi CVS, except I've started going there regularly now it's the closest cvs to me and a few months back i noticed that they were starting to get more coupon friendly i think it's because a target opened down the road from them and i think they were losing a lot of their front end business to target so this became a lot more coupon friendly and it's a lot more convenient for me to go there they let me do two cards like back to back like never say anything about that so for me they're just easier to go to and it's been really good for months like maybe a coupon issue here or there but for the most part it's been really good so today i am doing one of my transactions which i haven't written down hold on so i was trying to do this is my breakdowns by the way it's a mess it works for me though so i was trying to pick up in one transaction the colgate toothpaste two simply venus razors one of those regular blue venus razors a spice and then the two mascaras and all my coupons came off except for my 10 off of 25 venus which was really the most important coupon in my opinion it was taking off a big amount it was really the only reason i was getting the razors and if that's not coming off then there's really no point in me buying the razors like ten dollars is a huge difference obviously so um, it's just a cashier that I actually really hadn't seen very much who was helping me. So she needs to get a manager to come over to discuss that. And this manager is like, I think that you, it has to, it has to be a $25 product. And I was like, that doesn't make sense because there's not $25 razors. So she's like, I'm going to go check the aisle. She walks over there. She's gone for a little bit. She comes back and she's like, yeah, you have to buy a refill because those are $25. And I was like, no, the coupon says that it's for a razor or a refill. Like it's not just for a refill. Like, and I was like, I'm come here every Sunday. And she was like, I know I see you. And I'm like, that's why I pushed through because she had to push through um, my toothpaste coupon because I actually had picked up the wrong product at first. So I guess that's a good thing. And then it didn't work out. Um, so yeah, she... Tells me I can't use it basically and it's it was less so about the fact that she can't push it through because like I've dealt with that a lot and it depends on your cashier but like the fact that she was telling me it had to be a $25 product when that's like the most incorrect thing I've ever heard and I think she wasn't trying to like pull one over on me per se like I think she really did think that had to be a $25 product but I'm just really annoyed that you don't know your like how the coupons work to that extent that it's $25 total razor, not $25 singular product. Like nowhere on the coupon does it state like a one item thing. So I got frustrated. I snatched my coupons off the counter because they were just laying down. And I was like, I'm just going to go to a different store. And I had a cart full of stuff, which like I kind of feel bad about. But like I was really frustrated with how it was being handled. 
So I went to the CVS that I had been going to for quite some time. That's a little further from my house. Um, which CRTs? I will. I'm going to go back to the chat after I kind of finish telling this and I will answer any questions that are popping up. So I go to that one and they don't have any of the razors that I'm looking for because it's a much, much smaller CVS, which is also why it was never ideal for me to be shopping at that one. But I get the CoverGirl products there. I get the soft soap body wash there. Um, I picked up one of the spices. I think I picked up one other thing. I'm not sure. But I didn't pick up a ton. And that went fine. I think actually one CRT didn't go through and she pushed it through. Totally fine. Left there. But I was like, I still really, really want these razors. So I looked up a different CVS. I went to one that I'd never been to. And the employees there were super nice. Like all of them were friendly. They had all their razors and their body wash locked up though. So I had to get them to unlock everything. And then um, I was with one cashier and like three different coupons. CRTs didn't go through. So he tells me to go to the other cashier because that cashier is the manager and I'm getting the same issues. And he's telling me like, there's nothing he can do. They're being told not to push them through. So I'm like, okay, well let's void this transaction. I will figure out what I want to do. And then I was like, right away, I was like, oh, well I was planning three separate transactions. I was like, let's try this one instead. And we had issues on that one also. So then I end up putting back all the razors to the best of my ability because obviously I couldn't get them back behind the locks. Um, I did want to clean up after myself. Like I wasn't mad about it. They were super nice about it. So I reconfigured what I was going to do. And I was doing a transaction with toothpaste on my second card, the wet and wild products and soft soap. And all my coupons went through except for the body wash CRT. So I was like, okay, well, let's just take the body wash off, do that in some transactions. We voided it again. He rang up the body wash. Sorry, that's an eBay notification. So he rang up the body wash and that went fine. And I was like, cool, great. You know, and then I was like, okay, well, let's do the other stuff now. And when he did the other stuff, suddenly one of my wet and wild CRTs isn't working. Like one of the ones that when we did the transaction two minutes ago had gone through fine. The only one that didn't go through was the body wash, but now one of my wet and wild ones isn't going through anymore. And that made me extra frustrated. Cause I was like, that literally just went through. Like, obviously I have the right stuff. It had gone through in a transaction that we were going to do, but now it's not. And it was kind of like, I was just getting to like, eh, there's nothing we can do. We're being told not to override it. And I think that was the most frustrating part for me was not that like it hadn't never scanned. It scanned just fine but now it doesn't want to. And I did get a comment from someone saying that their cashier told them if a CRT has been scanned, you can't rescan it. But that I don't think is the case because I had my CRT scanned multiple times and just something how the register is calculating, it's kicking off certain ones. So that's basically what happened to me this morning. I was out for hours past when I was supposed to. I'm getting a lot of, sorry. Um, eBay stuff. I'm going to go back in the chat and see what you guys are saying really quick. See the cat in the window? Yeah. He's, he loves my office when I'm in here. Um, let's see. I had issues with the CRTs today too. I don't know. I got a ton that printed, but yeah. And I was getting other comments in my video saying that people had issues today, particularly with their CRTs. Sarah says hi to the cat in the window. Yeah, my cat, he just bakes in that window. Even at night though, he likes to be there. I'm hoping tomorrow goes smooth for me. I hope so too, coupon from Brooklyn because today was a mess. Today had me really upset. Waiting for the Hoblins coupons to get here before shopping. I thought about doing that deal with the Hoblins, but I got a four off of 18 shampoo CRT. And if I got four of those, it would only be 14. So I just, I skipped it. I know a lot of people are liking that one though. Um, you're asking someone else which CRTs. I feel like I missed that chat person. Um, don't feel bad, thank you. I find the cashiers have no idea about the coupon policy and I don't think they care to learn. I have had some say I can't scan that and they refuse to try. Oh, that would be, that's extra fresh. I mean, yeah. It always varies by cashier. It's super frustrating. I had a cashier tell me that I couldn't use my CoverGirl CRT because the coupon made it less than $15. It was the buy one, get one coupon. I get told that a lot too. 
Or like if I have an issue, they're like, it's because your manufacturer coupon, which isn't the case. It's because the CVS registers are like the fussiest things ever. Um, TN Couponer says my CVS has the coupon policy at the cash register. I don't think mine would care if they did. Wouldn't even try to scan it. Um, Megan said she had issues with a four off of 15 cosmetics and a three off of 10 body wash. I had two CoverGirl and two Physicians Formula items and four body wash. Hi, Angie. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Yvette. Okay. Guessing it's a problem with the registers. It makes no sense. Yeah, Jessica, I'm fairly certain it's a problem with the registers. And, like, I feel like CVS had been doing good for a while where, like, we weren't really having issues and just back at it today. Brandy says CVS needs to figure it out. I've had bad luck the last few weeks, stuff working the way it should, but I'm not afraid to tell them to take it off if they refuse something they shouldn't. Oh, I do that all the time. I mean, that's why today I was just like, I'm not getting any of it, and I left the store. You can use the 4 off of 18 coupon for the Nexus shampoo deal. Yeah, we have the same deal this week as last week. I only have one of those coupons, so I'd have to get the $20 product. It would be $1.99 after coupon and CRT. I did a very non-couponer thing. When I got my hair cut, she talked me into buying the John, no, not John Frieda, Paul Mitchell shampoo and conditioner. I actually really like it. It was a pretty penny, like, especially when we're used to free shampoo, but like I, and she told me, and I know that stuff like the Tresemme and the Pantene really isn't that good for your hair. So I'm digging my expensive one. Nexus is expensive too. I'm not sure if it would be kind of on the same level. Probably would. Most cashiers don't bother learning coupon policies. I had one tell me I couldn't use a CRT with a manufacturer coupon. Wow. Um, why would CVS give CRTs if that's the case? I wonder if the system is being overworked now if that we are getting CRTs on Sunday and two. Oh, maybe. Yeah, the twice a week CRTs. Um, Angie says, not CVS related, but I just got awesome clearance at Walgreens. Awesome. Kids toothbrush is 39 cents. That's insane. Toothpaste, 31 cents. Mouthwash, 69 cents. Wow, those are awesome clearance. Let's look into that. Finally, catch you live. Yay. Yeah, hey. How's your stockpile going? I've been in my, um, my stockpiles. Good. I've been selling stuff a little bit. Hi, Pam's pretty pennies. Sporting sometimes is okay though. Yeah. And I think especially if like you're getting a higher quality product and I'm extra stingy with my shampoo in the shower now that I just want to like use the smallest amount possible to actually wash my hair so that I don't waste it. And when it's like shampoo I got for free, I'm kind of just like probably using more than I do. I had a cashier say they can't take anything off because they can only have 10 voids. What? That's crazy. All right. A lot of you guys seem to be saying Walgreens is good with clearance. Maybe I can make a clearance video there. Will you be doing another clearance finds video? Not for CVS this week, but maybe for Walgreens because everyone's telling me right now that Walgreens has the best clearance. Um, CVS, I think I just like found almost all of them already. So there's not a lot more to discuss right now. I had decided to take a small break from couponing. I was going to start back up this week, especially because I received some pretty good CRTs. Now I'm not sure what to do. I mean, you can choose to still go for sure. So like, I have my CRTs here actually. So this is how I organize my trips. So what I was going to do in one transaction was I was gonna get two of the Venus Simply Three razors. They are $8.79. I was going to get one of those like blue Venus razors at $8.99. I was going to use the two off of one for the blue, two of the three off of one for the disposables. And I had 10 off of 25 and four off of one disposable. And if those had come off, it would have been $4.57 and I would have got back $10 in extra care bucks. So it would have been over a $5 money maker. So I'm really disappointed that that didn't work out. Um, my CRTs are good for a couple more days, but 
the 10 off of 25 got rejected at two different stores. So I don't think it's ever going to work for me. It just, it stinks. And I'm not going to pay 10 50, sorry, I'm not going to pay the 1457. It would be without this because it's not a moneymaker anymore. I'm paying for razors, which I don't really want to do. Um, let me look at the chat some more. You make me want to cut my hair. I don't know if I have the guts. I'm really happy I did it. It was like a mental pre preparation thing for me. If they, if I want an inch off and they chop off like four or five, I'm going to be really upset, but I asked them to do this. So I'm okay with it. You're selling your products in person or online. I sell, um, I don't sell them on like eBay. I sell them on like resale apps. So like offer up the Facebook marketplace let go or like Facebook groups. I haven't actually done let go in a while, but then I have people, I'll either meet them at like the CVS or I have them come to my apartment building because I'm behind like four locked doors and I meet them, you know, outside. I don't have them come up to me. So I, that's how I sell my stockpile, but I don't really want to deal with shipping things like shampoo or stuff like that. Just not for me. I only use the bougie nexus. Oh, I can't even keep up with this chat right now. Sorry. I did the soft soap deal at Walgreens just a little while ago. Running kimono and the cashier scanned all our ones. Told me I couldn't use coupons. Called the manager and I went through. Hmm. Never have good clearance. Says live the life you love. One Stevia store wouldn't let me use a 4 off of 18 shampoo with Nexus because they said it was a salon product. It's still shampoo. Went to a different CVS the next day and it worked just fine. Yeah, that is annoying. Totally agree. Just on my way out to do a CVS deal. Super glad I seen your video. I'm glad too, Anna. Good luck. Um, had trouble scanning my card the last two weeks. The red machine says there's an error, but will work if someone walks behind me and scans their card. Scan your card multiple times. I get that message sometimes. I'll scan it. It'll be like, error, ask a cashier. And I just scan it again right away. And it usually prints. So just scan it multiple times and it'll probably work. I don't, everything about CVS is fussy if it's technology. Um... Try without the disposable. Yeah, um, if I do it without the disposable, oh, with, without this one, you mean? Oh, yeah, well, I have to see. I, that could maybe work. I don't know if this one would work if I wasn't doing this one. It might, and that would still be a really good deal. You're right, maybe I'll try that if I, it would have to be tomorrow, I think, because I'm not up for, like, dealing with CVS nonsense again today. Two weeks in a row, I've not been able to get my CRTs that everyone else gets. Yeah, like I said, scan your card multiple times, even if it's giving you an error message. My CVS decided you can only use one card per household, max of six items per card. Max of six items? That's crazy. Following all coupon rules to a T. Just advocating because I can drive 30 minutes and shop like normal. <laughs> yeah. Aggravating. That is, that's so aggravating. Um... I mean, I I have some of my CVSs that are very strict on the, like, one card per person kind of thing. But I've never had one tell me I can only get six items. That's insane. Usually my red box says there's an error, and I just wait a minute and come back. Yeah. Um, oh, but that didn't work for you today? Scanned it ten times this week. And I actually got some CRTs, but I did not get the instant coupons. That's the worst because there's no other way to get them. Those are the worst ones to not print. Mm. logged onto my CVS account on the computer and could at least reprint some of the CR. Oh, that's a good advice. Oh, so it was like telling you it printed, but they didn't. Yeah, that's kind of the worst. I've had that happen before too, and there's not a lot you can do other than try and print them from your computer, but that doesn't always work. Uh, I'm just seeing if anything. Hi, Melinda's.
All right, I think I'm caught up on the chat now, you guys. Yeah, so do you guys get good CRTs today? If you got them to print, I, I got a ton. I can kind of show you some of them. I mean, some of them I used in my video, but most of them I don't. I got five over 30 of the Mach 3. I get a lot of the Mach 3, and I think I got the Mach 3 when it was free on a Black Friday before, and since then they think that I like those razors. I don't. Um, do you ever break from couponing? Um, not CVS, I haven't since I've had a YouTube channel. But I used to be a really, really avid Meyer couponer, and I haven't done Meyer in a long time. I actually went last weekend to try and do their Lysol deal, and they were wiped out. There's just not a lot of Meyers around the Chicago area. So, like the ones we do have get like over flooded with couponers, and it's really hard to find anything. Plus, it's like a drive out, of, like I drive out of my way to go there, so I don't go there as much. Can you use the Mach 3 on other razors? Oh, it does say or any other razors. Um, it's for razor cartridges. I have issues sometimes with the ones that say or other razors or the ones that are like or any mouthwash. They don't always work for me when I don't buy the specified thing, especially the mouthwash one. I'll get the one that says for scope. And if I try and use it on not scope, it'll beep. And it's super annoying. Stop and shop and Target are the best places in your area. Yeah, in Virginia, I had Giant, which is a stop and shop affiliate, and I liked shopping there. Harris Teeter is the best, if any of you guys have that. Love Harris Teeter. Third weekend not going. Getting burnt out and need a break anyhow, but I'll probably pick a few things up this week. I like making videos for you guys. That's why I don't get burnt out for CBS. although today I highly consider not making a video. Like... I'm glad I did, though. When I calculated out my totals, I was like, I still got good deals. I think in the moment for, like, how bad things were going, I was just like, I'm not getting any deals. This is going horrible. Like, everything's going wrong. But in the end, I got some good deals. What did I use? Oh, no, I didn't, I didn't use this one. I'm just kind of showing you guys what else I got because I got a ton of CRTs today. I got two off of ten of body lotion body or hand lotion. I'm hoping that we get a deal for that next week. 250 off of 12 vitamins. I get a lot of vitamin ones because I will buy vitamins at CVS if I can find a deal. I have to take a break because I have no room in my closet and shelves. That's why I sell for my stockpile, honestly, so that I don't overflow. Have a great day, everyone. Bye, Miss T. This video explained a lot. Thanks for all the work you do. You are so welcome. Thank you for joining. Okay, other CRTs I got. I got a buy one, get one half off for any children's pain or fever reducer. I think I got something one time with a CRT, and I get a bunch of children mes children's medicine CRTs now, which I don't intend to use. Oh, here's one I might use next week. I got a dollar off of any deodorant. And then I got $2 off of a leave. Um, a dollar off of CVS health. I don't use like half the CRTs I get, to be honest. A dollar off of the Kit Kat Minis pouches. Um, two off of two children's cough cold flu. See, my second like children's medicine one that I just don't need. I get so many medicine CRTs for stuff that I don't even know what it is. Same. Um, the Zarbi's natural, two dollar off of that because I got that on time. $2 off of a leave. So I have another one. I'm pretty sure this is the same card. Oh no, this is my second card. Okay. So I have the mix up right now, which I try not to do. $2 off ban. I got that on both cards, but I don't think there was a CRT deal this week. I actually forgot to check, but not that I saw any ad. Um, a lot of my CRTs did not work today. Cashier said CVS has made a lot of changes. We can't combine CRTs anymore. That would make that would make sense because all my issues were when I was stacking CRTs. So that would make a lot of sense. You never get vitamin CRTs. I bought clearance vitamins like a year, a year and a half ago. And I get CRTs ever since then. Like at CVS, I feel like you have to buy something one time and then they'll forever give you coupons for that. Like I don't get any baby CRTs because I've never bought like diapers or anything at CVS. I bought the baby wipes when they were 
Black Friday deal, but I don't buy diapers there. So I've never gotten a diaper CRT. And I know other people get that like weekly. Um, last week I got a proneamble for 49 cents and the manager took off 49 cents today. I don't like paying for toothpaste in the first place. I couldn't believe the manager didn't know what he was doing. What's the best deal you've seen or have gotten on the new spray deodorants on all the brands are producing now? Um, I haven't got one of those in a while. There was a point when I think it was, I think it might have been Checkout 51 and Ibotta, but it was definitely Checkout 51 where they had really good rebates. So I got three different ones. I got a Right Guard Men, a Dove Men, and a Dove Women, I believe, of the spray deodorant. And they were like a dollar or maybe even free. It was a long time ago, though, and I'm fine with regular deodorant. So I don't really, like, care to pay for spray deodorant. How many CRTs in Beauty Bucks do you normally have to roll on a weekly average? Probably about 50 per card. Usually one card has more than the other, but around there. Some clarity from CVS, it would be nice. So we don't have to listen to cashiers just make stuff up. Yeah, that's like my biggest, like, makes me angry when I'm couponing. is not like things not going how I expected. Like, that's just going to happen sometimes. But it's when a cashier makes up a policy. And you're just, you're so wrong. I know this. I come here every week. I know the policy. So frustrating. Snaps like button, everyone. Thank you, TN Couponer um what else did i get oh right the mystery coupon this week you guys might have seen this probably saw this is four dollars off of any revlon or alme that is the mystery coupon and then we have the brookfield or hershey one look i got even more uh venus i didn't even try and use this one though this is a three off of 15 venus razor refills or any other razors so many razor ones um, three off of eight dollars in vitamins, three off of 15 CoverGirl. That was on my second card where I didn't buy CoverGirl. Hi, Kathy. Three off of six body wash. This was on this is on my second card, so the one where I used the three off of 10 for soft soap today. I also got a three off of six, one off of three toothpaste, which is like not a good CRT. I never use those. Um, three off of seven dollars in Olay. I I'm sorry that eBay is like going crazy. People are paying for stuff that they bought from me. There's one of my uh, shampoo ones. Two off of six mouth. Oh, I should have used that. I didn't see that I had that. I was looking through them and I saw I had a two off of twelve. I would have used this with the Listerine. This is the card that I bought the Listerine on. Whatever it happens in life, it would have been a money maker deal because I had no other CRTs for. My mouth, the mouthwash that I bought today. It happens. Two dollars off Rimmel, and we have three dollars off of whitening. And I'm not done. Like I got a ton of them. Let me see. Have a happy Easter! Thank you so much. You too. We need to get some Revlon coupons. I think we still have. Hold on. I have all my coupons with me here today, so that if it came up, I could actually pull them out. I think we have one that's expiring today. I think it's expiring today. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I think we have a Revlon coupon. Um, let me find it. $3 off whitening works on the Crest 3D white mouth. Oh, does it? Interesting. I wouldn't have thought that. Thank you. Maybe the Revlon expired yesterday. Yeah, that's a Maybelline. Okay, no, I have a Revlon. Okay, it expires today. So if you want to get Revlon lip products today only with the $4 off of one CRT, we have three off of one Revlon lip. And the promo is buy one, get one half off this week. Um, okay, yeah, that's really cool. I didn't know that the whitening kit works with the mouthwash. Good to know. Oh, I just showed you guys the mystery coupon, but I think you trying them after. The mystery coupon is $4 off of one Revlon or Almay. 
area isn't a big coupon community, so our CRTs are usually junk. Are you shopping there a lot, though? Um, because I don't, I mean, I could be wrong. I didn't think CRTs are based on location. I thought they're based on purchase history. All right. I also got three off of ten any eye or ear care. This is because I bought eye drops before, and they instantly think I want eye drops. My cat's being crazy. Um, pain relief one. I get so many medicine ones too, yeah. And then on my other card, I also got a dollar off of deodorant. Those are nothing new. Let me see what you guys are saying. Blocking people, guys. Okay. Um, how do you apply for a second CVS card without having a hard time? I want to apply for an additional card, but I've been reluctant. I just went in there. It's under my husband's phone number. Um, I think they're under the same address now, though, which is not what you're supposed to do. I think they were under separate addresses before, but since we moved, I think I updated it. But if you can do it with different households, that's what you're supposed to do. But it's not been an issue for me. Um, yeah, it goes according to what you buy. Yeah, that's, that's been my experience too. Just coming on, so don't know if you address this or not, but I used both a uh, three off of 10 and a two off of six body wash CRTs with no problem. Went through, no need to override or anything. Oh, that's good. I mean, I don't usually try stuff like that because I think usually it does beep, but I'm glad yours didn't. Okay. More children's medicine. This is on my other card. I don't even know if I bought children's medicine on this card. I get so much of that. Um, I got two dollars off of Hershey's dipped pretzels or pop snack mix. Not even sure what that means. The pop snack mix. Got an in shower body lotion for Nivea, but I didn't see a deal with that this week, which is unfortunate. It's only the body wash. Um Dollar off of CVS Health brand Ultra Maxi pads or liners. Another $2 off of a fan, the shampoo, and toothpaste. So those are my CRTs um, that I printed today. Free nicotine gum at Thanksgiving gets me all kinds. Oh, yeah, I get those too, the nicotine ones, because I think it was two years ago we got – free nicotine gum and I get those I just throw them away like right away I just throw them away because I'm never going to use that and if I knew that we were going to get endless CRTs for it I probably never would have purchased it in the first place yeah the 15 yep 15 dollars off Nicorette zero interest I'm not a smoker I got it because it was free do you resell your products at the store sale prices or lower lower for sure lower no um the way I look at it is that when you're reselling your stockpile, you should be helping people save who don't want to coupon. So um, for me, is this person's spam or no? Sorry. I'll figure that out in a second. So for me, I do um, shampoo and conditioner, most of them two for three dollars. So like a set of a shampoo and a conditioner for three dollars. Unless it's like gliss, I'll charge more for. I'll probably do like two for four then um what other brands do I charge more for if it's like a higher end like Nexus I would never charge that obviously um detergent I'll do usually about two for five unless it's tied then I'll do a little bit more expensive um I'm trying to think if I have any other set prices body washes I usually do about two to two fifty a bottle so everything is like from that I sell is well well under retail prices um just because I want to pass on deals like I make money and they will feel like they're saving money and everyone's happy got curious and just rechecked the CVS coupon policy still says you can stack CRTs as long as you meet all requirements and it can't be two brand specific CRTs <laughs> come at me CVS guy. yeah um yeah so technically my Gillette ones should have worked but they didn't If 
already been on here for 35 minutes. See, when I go the live chat, I feel like just like always goes fast, even if I've been on here a while. Um, you're asking about shipping fees. I don't ship stockpile stuff. I do in-person sales through resale apps. Thank you, TN Couponer. How do you deal with cashier and nasty supervisors? Um, unfortunately, there's not a lot you can do. I don't purchase at that store. Like, if they're rude to you during a transaction, like if you haven't checked out, especially if things are like not going how you planned, don't finish the transaction. So, like, take your coupons back. Go to another CVS. That's my first way of dealing. Call corporate. Unfortunately, corporate, you can only call Monday through Friday. And in my experience, they don't do a whole lot. I still think it's worth reporting. Like you want it to be kind of on file somewhere that you made this complaint. I always think that's really important. Um, so I would say do that. But the biggest thing you can do is shop somewhere else. Like look around until you find a coupon friendly CVS. Like I said, I used to be going to one that was further away from me, but the cashiers were friendlier, so it was worth it for me. I liked coming on here at night, you guys, because I wasn't getting spam comments then. Do you ever use Craigslist to sell items? I have not used Craigslist. I use Facebook Marketplace, um, Offer up and let go. How much money would you charge for a bundle? And what products would you put together in a bundle? I mean, that's up to you. I don't do pre-made bundles just because I think you're limiting your clientele for that. Customers, whatever you want to call them, um, of wanting those specific products. A lot of people for me kind of do like a make your own bundle. Like, so I list all my things individually. I might list sets of like, maybe four shampoos or four bottles of detergent or something like that. And then I'll get people coming in being like, oh, I'm interested in like this shampoo, this toothpaste, this face wash, like whatever I'm selling. And they'll kind of like give me a list of what they want. So they kind of make their own bundle. And then um, for the most part, I don't really give discounts on my prices unless they're a regular, then I'll discount them a little bit. Or if they specifically ask me if I'll go a little lower, and if it's only a little lower, then I will. Yeah, nope to shipping shampoo, says Pam's pretty pennies. It's not, it was like, it's heavy, so it's really expensive. And if you're doing flat rate padded envelopes, that's still like $7.10. It's insane. Um, will you meet up with people for as little as two products or do you try to sell as much as possible in one sale? I will meet up for anything because like I said, I have them come to my apartment most of the time. So for me, I'm already home. It's not really making much of a difference. So I'm fine with that. I only let them come to me because I'm in a secure apartment. If I was in a like single family home, I would probably do public meetups because safety reasons behind that. But the people that come to me, um, I go outside. So like they never get past the locked gates and locked doors. And I lost my train of thought on that one. Oh, they don't know what apartment number is mine. So I think it's still fairly safe because I'm not like giving away too much information. How long have you been selling your products now? Um... The whole time I've been in Chicago, I've been selling. I didn't do resale when I was in Virginia. So four years now I've been reselling stuff. And I don't constantly have stuff up. I'll go in spurts. Like once I think that my stockpile is starting to overflow, that's when I start to like take pictures and like post stuff and try and get rid of it. I have about 10 CVS stores nearby, so I'm lucky there. Oh, definitely. Definitely lucky about that. I feel so lucky to have two CVS stores really close to me and one has early activation. I had one that used to and then they stopped, but I wasn't the biggest fan personally of early activation. I liked it for videos, but um, I don't, you, you get your CVS, your CRTs on Sunday, 
So I felt like if I did early activation, I'm missing out on deals I could do with my Sunday CRTs. Um, TN Couponer says, Stacy, I do sometimes trade or sell my stockpile at the flea market. I've never looked into a flea market. That could be interesting. How much do you charge on items? And give me an example. Oh, okay. I, you might have missed it, but I did an example. Shampoos. I do like a shampoo and a conditioner um, for $3. And toothpaste, usually I do about um, two for $3 also. Mouthwash varies. Mouthwash is a harder mover for me, so I actually charge a little bit less um detergent usually two for five unless it's tied tied i charge a little bit more for um body wash about two dollars a piece i rarely have trouble at cvs it's wags that fights me every step of the way i don't have a lot of luck there either i just don't shop there very much do you ever get stuck with unsellable stock i've had things that i hang on to for a while um, so sometimes, and a while ago I bought year before last, so 2016 clearance stuff. I bought like a bunch of that wag is 90% stuff, like stuff that I didn't even need. And I still have a lot of that that didn't sell. A lot of it did sell, but a lot of it I still have. So I shouldn't have bought that and I won't do that again. Like I'll do 90% clearance if I want it for myself, but I won't do 90% clearance to resell of just like, it was things like photo coasters or like tea light holders, things like that. Like, and like at this point I have them listed and I have them listed for a dollar a piece. I'm just like, take them please. Oh, you're welcome, Nancy. I asked the CVS rep a question I already know the answer to and they answered wrong. I was asking a CVS rep about the verbiage on a CRT and she asked, what is a CRT? I showed her and said, never mind. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they does CVS officially call them CRTs? Um, or do they just refer to them as CVS coupons? I'm not sure. Oh, I should have brought water with me, you guys. <gasps> Let's see. It got quiet. You guys have any more CVS? slash CRT or stockpile sale questions. I have a regular, by the way, which is nice if you can find one of those, um, a regular who buys for me, who owns her own cleaning business. So like if I ever have any cleaning supplies to sell, she snatches them up right away. And she's one of the ones that I give a discount to because she buys for me almost every time I list stuff. Love her. I'm going to see if I missed any previous chat stuff because sometimes it was going fast. Go get some water. <laughs> I sell on eBay and it goes fast, but the shipping part is what drives me crazy. Yeah, and I mean, I don't sell stockpile on eBay. I sell clothes and... What's frustrating with eBay is a lot of people expect free shipping, which if you're doing stockpile stuff, that's like costly to ship. That's extra frustrating. And I feel like if you're asking like $6 for shampoo and then $7 for shipping, people aren't going to want to do that. So you know, I mean, I actually probably wouldn't charge $6 for shampoo on eBay. I think eBay, you can charge more, which is the perk, but a lot of people expect on stuff like that, free shipping. Quarterly bucks on April for, oh yes, we are. You're right. Hello. Just got back from CVS. What's up? Um, we talked about my CRT issues this morning. We've been talking a lot about stockpile sales. Yeah, I love it. I don't. I haven't even looked if I'm supposed to be getting quarterly. So I have receipts here. Let me try and find my last receipts because if you guys didn't know. You can track your extra, your quarter bucks, or at least you used to be able to. Yeah. Okay. So is this my last receipt? So let me find my last receipt. Why do I have a ripped receipt? I, I don't even know what's going on there. This is one of my last ones. Um, this one has it. So 
I think I will. I'm not sure if that's actually. Yep, I will be getting. So this is for my, let me see. This is for my second card. It makes a difference to me. I, in my mind, call one of my cards number one and one of my cards number two based on which one I had first. So on your receipt, you can see your quarterly bucks that you're going to be getting. I just lost it. Okay. So you have your barcode, you have this, and then here's your quarterly box. So it has your year to date savings, which on this card it says it is $574.25. And then under that, it says 2% of your spring 2018 spend, spring 2018 spendings, it's just repetitive CVS, $1.26. So I will be getting a dollar CRT there. And then I believe this one is my other card, which it is showing that I have $2 coming. This card is my snack card because I work by CVS and if I ever want a snack, I go to CVS and I buy like chips or something else that's junk food. So as of right now, probably going to be as of whatever, I'm going to be getting a dollar and two dollars back. So you guys can always look at your receipt to see what you're expected to get. Do you work a full-time job in addition to YouTube and couponing? Yes, I do. I am a full-time nanny. Um, I've never gotten a quarterly buck in my life. That is a good thing. I used to not get them. Quarterly bucks are based on your spending and your actual spending. So it's after coupons, after extra bucks, after beauty bucks, after everything, not including tax, your actual subtotal. That's what basis if you get quarterly bucks or not. So if you're only paying taxes every time, you're really not going to get your quarterly bucks. So not getting them is a good thing. I always feel most proud of myself when I'm not getting them. Um, thank you, TN Couponer. Only one CRT problem. Bought $20 Wet n Wild. Four off of 10 Wet n Wild CRT went through, but the four off of 15 CRT did not. They pushed it through. I'm glad they pushed it through for you. I had, I was trying to stack those also. I had the four off of 15. I actually tried to stack the four off of 15, a three off of 12, and the four off of 10 Wet and Wilds. And I figured maybe because the two were just cosmetics that they weren't stacking. But even when I tried to stack the other two, they don't want to do it. Um, you guys are welcome. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of people don't know that you can see your quarterly box stuff on your receipt. Hi, Amy. Most we've ever got back in quarterly spending is $2. I think the most I got back was like, I think it was only a dollar. So getting a $2 one will actually be, I spent a lot on that card. I need to calm it down. Your percent savings is huge. I personally wish that CVS didn't count um, your extra care bucks that you spend toward your savings. I mean, they do. And like, it makes it sound happier, but like, so like, you know, here it says I saved 99%, but that's because I used extra care bucks. I mean, I think in the end I did probably with my CRTs, but, or with my ECBs, I don't know, but they count what you spend. And I, it'll say that like, if you go in there and you buy like a dollar candy bar and you use a dollar extra care buck, it's going to tell you that you saved hundred percent. And in my opinion, you didn't save hundred percent unless you got a dollar extra care buck back. That's just me. Um, do you have any clue why CVS stopped sending percent off or um, four off of 20 email coupons? My theory is just if you shop there too much, that's actually a lot of the reason I made a second card in the first place is because I wasn't getting email coupons. And when I did that, I was getting them for like months on end and then it stopped and I never got them again. I think if you shop there a lot and I think if you buy a lot, like I don't think they need to feel like they need to reel your business in. I feel like that's the big perk. But then I also feel like I see people who shop at CVS weekly and weekly are saying that they got a percent off coupon. So I kind of don't know if my theory is holding up, but that's kind of just what I've always thought. Hi, Marie. Stacking rarely works for Amy. Um, I've tried it with my besties card. 
yeah, I'm, I wish, like, I wish stacking was easier because it's in the policy. Per policy, they should work. One category can be combined with one item. Yeah, I, I know, yeah, it's the register thing. And I think what's most frustrating is that CVS told all of their stores not to push through CRTs, which is like, but if a cashier can verify that you bought the correct thing, I, it doesn't make sense to me that they're not allowed to push it through. Um, I get it from a card I never use and the car and the card I do use, um, they're trying to make you happy to shop there by saving. You saved a hundred percent. Yeah. That's definitely why they you can give you that percentage. They want to make you feel like you conquered the world. By the way, guys, Rachel, I think, is doing a live this evening from, I think she said 7 to 8 Eastern time. So you guys should watch her later. I like to plug Rachel because she's like my bestie. Um, I don't receive the 30% or 20% anymore. They don't even bother to send them anymore. On my, I don't even really get any CVS emails at all. Rarely I'll get like a save like 20% online, but for the most part, they just like, they don't even acknowledge me. Everyone kept saying the CRTs were based on shopping spending, but I went over 10 years without any CRTs on mine, mom's or dad's card, even with shopping. That's crazy. That's insane. Yeah, because in my experience, it's always based on what you've bought there before and whatever they're trying to promote because I'll randomly get a CRT for something I've never even heard of and I've definitely never bought but I think that's usually whatever their stuff they're trying to promote then I don't get them either okay oh you're saying you don't get the percent coupons I mean the percent coupons are nice you guys but I I haven't had one in over a year and like CVS overall is such a coupon friendly store with because of the CRTs that like you don't really need a percent coupon to make a killer deal. Now, I mean, they make deals even better, obviously, but I, I, it's not my biggest worry. The fact that I'm not getting a percent coupon because I still get amazing deals. I was just told by a manager last week that the ECBs will now lower the threshold amounts and therefore will cause CRTs to beep. Oh, that's interesting. That would make a lot of sense. Amy's been shopping there weekly and not getting CRTs. I've never heard of that. That's crazy. What was odd was the CRT that did not go through, did not even show on my receipt. So if I called corporate, they would not see that I used that CRT in the past. It showed on my receipt. Yeah. I think I yeah the cashiers are oh I just got my receipt wet. They're supposed to be able to see what doesn't go through, but I don't know. CVS is a weird store. <laughs> I love it, but I wish like I just remember when Target was like really coupon friendly, and they just had to press K nine to push a coupon through, and like it just wasn't a headache. And this was like before they decided to lower coupons when you earned a gift card. I miss those days. If anyone isn't getting CRTs, call customer service and tell them you want a new card with all of your shopping history and ECBs transferred. I get them now. That's great advice. Thank you, Amy. So if anyone is not getting CRTs, call customer service. Sundays are the worst. I like to shop waiter in, waiter. I like to shop later in the week. Um, yeah, Amy, that's really great advice. Are you guys still intrigued with this? Do you want to continue or should I start to wrap it up, you guys? Target and Kroger are talking about a merger? That's weird. They're like not even the same kind of store. 
I don't even, what would that mean? I don't even know. That would be interesting if that happens. We don't have Kroger where I live. I think we have like an hour and a half south of me, but we have Food for Less, which is a Kroger affiliate. I'm listening while cooking dinner. Are you, you must be East Coast time, I'm assuming. Continue. Okay. I'm going to be right back then, guys. I am going to get water because I'm dying of thirst, slowly but surely. Want to watch your nightmares. Have a great week. Um, all right. Bye, Bev. I didn't hear of that, Amy. That would be an interesting team up. <laughs> team up against Walmart. Yeah, Walmart's. Virginia. Yep. Oh, okay. Did I see you last time? I might have seen you last time. All right, I'm gonna grab water really quick, you guys. Keep chatting. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm going to be on for just like five more minutes actually because, I don't know, my husband misses me. A lot of your cashiers are couponers too. That's awesome. Hi, Blanca. At least the toilet didn't flush. I swear I only got water. Yes, husband time is very important. I can't believe I've been on here for an hour. Do you coupon on food? Yes and no. Um, I will if I actually find a deal. I don't always find deals, and I do for the most part try and be healthier. Um, I feel like more than couponing for food, I try and shop sales. So we have Julosco here, which is an Albertsons affiliate, and they'll a lot of times do a three-day sale, and I try and go to those, or like they'll a lot of times have like strawberries or blueberries or whatever for like 99 cents i'll try and grab that um just because like couponing for fruits or whatever it's not easy so i just try and find the best sales for food usually so tired of being stuck in the house oh i'm sorry to hear that kathy that's not fun Mike Togger's Kroger is mainly grocery, but has seasonal outdoor furniture and such. Bye, Cher. Bye, Tian Couponer. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap up pretty soon here too. I have a Harry Potter cup. That was my Christmas gift. Of the Mortars map. All right, guys, the chat. Uh, summer, roadside, produce stands, private gardens, equal, fresh and inexpensive. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Carissa. You love the coupon more for food than products. What kind of food do you get with couponing? Yeah, I just, I don't know, especially with having done Whole30. Like, it's not easy to coupon for Whole30 foods. I eat only fruits, veggies, and greens. Almost impossible to get my food cheap. Yeah. We're really lucky that right by us, we have a produce store that is pretty cheap. That's where I'll get, like, 
almost all of my fresh produce. Like they'll a lot of times have avocados for between like 50 and 79 cents. They usually have the best price on lettuce, which I have to get for my rabbit all the time. Um, we'll get like apples and stuff there. They tend to have the best prices in my area. And Chicago is nice because we are by farmland. So produce overall is cheaper than it was when I was in Virginia. Am I vegan? No, I'm not even close to vegan. I respect vegans, but it's, I'm not. How's been time for you too, Marie? Bye. Great deal on Purdue with sales and coupons. That's good to know. I did pick up Purdue one day when I was after work, which I don't have my coupons on me all the time. And it was on sale at my grocery store. And I wish I had had my coupons with me. I bought a saving star at checkout to do one help with a little with food. Yeah. How do you know on what count for, oh, how do I know what counts for beauty bucks for CVS? Um, you can look it up. If you Google like CVS beauty club, it's toward the bottom, but it's cosmetics, hair care, facial care, hair color, fragrance. Um, I think that's everything that counts toward it. I can't remember if razors count or not, actually. Do I just chime in? Do razors count toward beauty bucks? I am not sure anymore if razors count toward beauty bucks. I know body wash used to and it doesn't anymore, but razors are the only ones I'm not sure about. No one razors. Okay. So yeah, cosmetics, hair care, hair color, facial care, fragrance. That's what counts toward beauty. All right, guys, it's been over an hour. I am going to end this now so I can go be with my husband. Thank you guys so much for joining. Jealous of those Meyer deals? Um, we had... A pretty lively chat today so thank you guys I love doing the lives now I think it's gonna be like my new addiction so you will see me again live for sure um thank you guys though just seeing the chat letting all of you guys type in your bias before I actually end the stream yep have a good day everyone all right I'm officially ending it now. Thank you guys for joining me. Bye.